You're watching Local 5 News. We are Iowa. Welcome back, everybody. All right, so excited to be checking in with the Des Moines Community Playhouse, who recently announced their 104th year of live theater. An incredible season uh, upon us that we can't wait to talk about. But first, we want to introduce artistic director Katie Merriman, who is joining us to talk more about those upcoming shows, but also currently a show that is running at the Kate Goldman Theater that is getting so much traction right now. They've had to add performances. So good morning, Katie. Thank you so much for being here today. Hi, Jackie. Thanks for having me. And looking fabulous uh, in red today, by the way. So thank you very much uh, for that, as many are showing honors of Scarlet Day today for East High School. But right now, before we get to the huge <laughs> announcement that was recently <laughs> made, let's talk about the excitement of Charlotte's Web. What's going on? Yes, so Charlotte's Web is the third in our Kate Goldman Children's Theater series this season, and we've just had a huge wonderful response tickets have sold like crazy and we have limited seating in that room um so we've added a thursday evening performance at 7 p.m this week so if you're one of those families that was trying to get tickets to charlotte's web and can't find any seats together uh and if you're still around uh next thursday it will be over spring break for a lot of students i think um if you're looking for something to do or trying to get those uh seats you can come see an extra performance of charlotte's web i think it's just a really well loved uh story uh, by both parents and kids and uh, we've just had a lot of fun with it we have a really new group of performers a lot of young people playing lead roles and some really great supporting adults as well um so it's just it's been a great experience and we're glad people are wanting to see it yeah it's a beautiful story that really crosses the generations and good reminder there that uh quite a few families looking for things to do during spring break the theater mm -hmm. always a great place to go but those tickets are very limited so make sure you're contacting the playhouse immediately to see if you can get into this very special production speaking of which you guys just had one of those days all of us are like clinging uh to our screens or in person to know what you guys are going to say and that was the announcement of the 104th year of live theater. We're talking the 2022-23 season, which includes some pretty big name musicals and more. So Katie, kind of break it down for us. What are we excited about coming up? Sure, so I'm gonna hit the highlights for you. Uh, we're opening our season on the main stage with Guys and Dolls, a really classic musical that we are really looking forward to giving a fresh uh, take on. Um, with still some of those classic stories and classic music. Um, our family holiday classic is a TBA, but it's gonna be a good one for the family, especially if you're a fan of Disney stories, et cetera. And we're really excited to do Kinky Boots finally next spring. That was when we had to put off um, announcing and, and producing because of COVID. And next summer, we're going to do Little Shop of Horrors uh, oh, for our what? summer music. That's I know that's the one that got um, a big gasp from all the performers in the audience. <laughs> uh, and also some of the plays we're doing uh, is, are um, Jackie's really excited. I, I'm sorry. I missed that one. And I'm like, am I too old to play Audrey? And hang on. Keep talking. Keep talking. <laughs> um, OK, so we're doing our third co-production with Pyramid Theater Company next season as part of our main stage. We're going to do August Wilson's The Piano Lesson, one we've also really been looking forward to doing for a long time have some have a have a good production team in the works for that and then a newer work by karen zacharias called native gardens that i'm just selfishly really excited for it if you're not familiar with the title i promise it's really funny it's a great relevant story um for for any adult um to see and in the children's theater we have a great lineup of harriet the spy we're doing go dog go the e pd eastman book that there's also a new um show out on Netflix that a lot, a lot of young people have been watching, I think, uh, including my young person. Um, and then we're bringing back The 100 Dresses, a really beautiful story about bullying, friendship, standing up for what's right. And we're doing How I Became a Pirate as our last sh uh, our last show in the children's theater. Um, and I, if I have another second, uh, our, our next co-production with Pyramid is actually this summer as part of this season. It's called Buffalo Women. It's um, it's touring around the Midwest right now in the workshop and premiere stages. So it's going to go Omaha, Des Moines, Kansas City. Uh, the playwright will be working with us, Bofield Berry. Um, 
And Tiffany Johnson from Pyramid and I are just so excited to do that project this summer. So please, please, please mark your calendars to come see it. It's going to be a main stage kind of show in the children's theater space, which is something we haven't done in a while as well. And that starts June 19th this summer. So much exciting things going on and things I didn't even know about. How is this possible? Okay. Surprise, <laughs> so, Jackie. Hello. All right. If people want more details, because you laid a lot on us right there, um, where do they need to go? dmplayhouse.com so you can see information about next season. Uh, we'll be getting subscription information out soon. A audition information and dates are up. Uh, and we still have auditions left this um, this season as well. So you can find all of that at our website, dmplayhouse.com. You can also get tickets for Charlotte's Web there. All right. But Always only a, a few. All right, but only a few. Always appreciate you, Katie Merriman. Thank you so much for being here with Thank us today. You. Thanks. Oh my gosh, exciting.